Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and first of all, I wish all the viewers of my channel a very very happy new year 2022. I hope this new year brings a lot of success and happiness to you and your family. And I also want to thank my subscriber for your incredible love and support throughout last year. I hope this continue in 2022 as well. Alright, so I have decided to start this new year on a beautiful note, talking about one of the most beautiful looking Linux distro. Now, Elementary OS recently released its latest point release, that is Elementary OS 6.1 Yolnir. And in today's video, we are going to talk about Elementary OS and look at top 5 reasons why I think you should try Elementary OS. Alright, so let's start with the first reason. Elementary OS is a well-established Linux distro. It has a 10 year long and successful history. The distro started in 2011 with its first release Elementary OS 0.1 Jupyter. The first release wasn't very exciting, it had GNOME desktop and did not look very different from the rest of the lot at that time. However, the second release which was 0.2 Luna quickly grabbed the attention and this was the release that really established the distro. It featured the visually stunning Pantheon desktop which later became the USP of Elementary OS. Over the next decade, the distro had 8 major releases, gradually building the system by adding new features and pushing incremental updates, making it to the current release 6.1 Yolnir. The point here is the distro is built around a strong foundation with a very talented team of developers. The team have a clear vision of what they want the distro to be and the team strives excellence. Few examples are initiatives like App Center for Everyone, Flatpak only apps, Paid apps with pay what you want model to support the developers are all initiative of elementary team that is exclusively to elementary and you don't see that from majority of other Linux distros. Alright now the second reason is the fact that elementary is an Ubuntu based distro. It uses Ubuntu LTS as its base. There are many Linux distros that are really good in their own ecosystem like Fedora, MX Linux or Solus, but they are limited in terms of number of apps available for use, the online support in case of any issue. Some do not have proper support for different types of hardware. But being an Ubuntu based distro gives you a significant advantage. The biggest advantage is you get tons of softwares that are built for Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a very popular Linux distro and almost every app that is made for Linux works on Ubuntu as well. And because elementary OS share the same base, all those apps work on elementary also. Moreover, since it's based on LTS release, you get a stable desktop experience and long-term support of minimum 5 years. Same goes for hardware support as well. You get driver support for a wide variety of hardware. Alright, uh, talking about the Linux apps, let's talk about the app management situation in Linux distros and how Elementary is addressing this problem. Now, one of the major challenges in Linux world is multiple different app packaging format and the diversified app management system. This is also where a new Linux user faces the most difficulty. There's no standard package format in Linux like you have in Windows or Mac OS. You may see a package package in tar format, RPM, snap, deb and many other package format. There's a need to have a unified single app format that works across all Linux distros. Few technologies have already come up in the last couple of years or so. Snapcraft, App Image and Flatpak are projects that are developed specifically to address this issue. Snapcraft is from Canonical, works on Ubuntu, but Flatpak has wider acceptance. Elementary OS provides close integration of Flatpak packages. Installing an app from Flathub, the app store of Flatpak packages, is just like installing an app in Windows. You download the installer file and run it by double clicking and that's all. It's that simple. Now not all apps are currently on Flathub, but I think it's a good start in the right direction. And if you are a new Linux user, this will definitely make things easier for you. Alright now let's move on to the next reason and it's the obvious one is the gorgeous Pantheon desktop. Like I said, since its release in 2013, it has been considered as one of the most beautiful crafted Linux desktop. Over the years, it has built upon the foundation, gradually adding new features like dark mode, a new system sounds, refining system fonts, adding multi-touch gestures, adaptive transparency for top bar, and many such features making significant improvements to the original desktop. Now I agree, beauty is in the eye of beholder. And there will be some of you who may not find it very appealing. But you do not have to take my word. 
there are tons of reviews and ratings that have constantly given top rating to elementary OS and I believe any Linux user who is fond of beautiful desktop cannot afford to give elementary a miss. Alright, the last and certainly not the least is the security and privacy. This is one aspect that elementary has been focusing upon a lot with every iteration. Elementary OS introduced sandboxing feature which basically runs each app in its own separate container so that there's a sort of abstraction layer and one app cannot directly communicate with other running apps. Starting from OS 6, Elementary also started packaging and distributing all the App Center applications as well as its own default Elementary apps as flat packs. Now this shift is to ensure all security for the apps is handled at one central place implementing the song security feature of Flatpak. In addition, Elementary OS also introduced a feature called Portals which lets you manage app permissions. Now apps must explicitly request permission to get access to files or launch other apps. Now these permissions can be managed by going into applications in system settings. Elementary OS also includes housekeeping settings which is used to automatically clean trashed and temporary files. In the latest release, one more option has been added that is downloaded files. Now cleaning these files regularly save disk space and also enhances security and privacy. Now the latest elementary OS 6.1 introduced new updated app pages in the app center. App pages now gives a lot more information about the apps. There are new sort of labels which elementary calls content and privacy report card. It gives content warning like violence, language and nudity as well as privacy related warnings like online interaction and data collection. At the bottom of the app page, you get list of applications from the same developer. So overall, these information and warning help you take informed decisions and thereby enhances security and privacy. Alright, so that was all for today. I hope you liked this video. If you do, kindly press the like button. And if you want to see more such videos, leave a comment in the comment box. A huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. Thank you for supporting me. Alright, so thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.